Welcome back to another of my great videos guys and today we are going to be reviewing the XM800T and see if it's actually any good in current meta. So make sure to hit that sub, like and let's get into the video. So you're probably when you get in the match you will probably want to actually like get into the position of flanking like I'm guessing what you will do with Bradley. But this thing doesn't have a 25mm cannon, which is a bit of a problem, cause it won't really give you as much penetration, but that is still fine, cause this thing is still low profile and it's very very fast, it can go like 70km per hour or something like that, but yeah, you're probably gonna be flanking for the most part and some things even when flanking you won't be able to kill. Well, if you're really dumb like me, you're gonna get in like guns blazing and they will probably take out your transmission or your engine, but don't worry, it's not over yet cause you can take out its barrel and its tracks or whatever really just got to your engine and probably somebody of your crew. like here just happen if you're not flanking this will happen and like you will call in the airstrike and you will get killed essentially and that is exactly how you don't want to play so as i was saying uh this thing can really eat through anything that is lightly armored like this dude right here he did not know apparently that heat cannot go through stuff so he got what he deserved you can also use a nice good old tactic of rushing to the point as fast as you could and really just capturing it like you would with your average light tank but yeah this thing is not your average tank or i could say light tank really it has 20 millimeter canyon but it has APDS which is really nice and if the, it did not have these APDS it would be really useless so what I'm gonna do right here is go to the point real quick I mean I don't know really where did I want to go when I got here I thought there would be a way to the point but there was not but that's fine, I just go, got around and like got to the edge of the point like you could because uh, there was really nobody there and if there was I would just go hide behind that building. Now I really want y'all to look at that hiding spot right there. You don't see it? Well I do. So I got right here like a sneaky little boy I am. And I waited, waited for someone and there he was, he went by, but I wanted more, I did not really just want him, I wanted one more kill. So I decided I want to be a very very funny little boy. So I got behind him with my crazy nice reverse speed and got his ammunition. And this was all done with little, very little APDS. So, two kills and almost no ammo used. Here, I decided really, I just want to grab the point back and get some of that nice, nice research points and silver lines. So, now, I'm really just going around looking for a new target flank. And that was all going very well when I heard someone next to me. But, peekaboo! Ah! It should have been me! him it's not fair another thing that i really want to prove is its speed so in this clip i'm gonna prove how actually fast it is and what it's capable of so right here we are hitting 60 kilometers per hour 70 kilometers per hour 70 uh, but like 88 is its max which you will not really be hitting so here we got in a little camping spot and got this dude with no problem, absolutely zero problem. But 
Yeah, what will also happen is when you're a little oblivious, you're probably gonna get shot from somewhere. Like, I just here got shot by object 906. So yeah. Also, what I forgot to mention is that this thing has a huge amount of ammo, 500 ammo in this thing of APDS is just enough to kill anything from the flank. But what I did right here is not really go on the flank. I wanted to, but I did not manage to do that and he managed to get a shot on me, but I got his barrel. So I don't know what was his game plan right here, but like I think he was trying to seduce me. You weird, buddy. You're weird. Honestly, like, actually, what was he actually trying to do? He was trying to crush me, which is kind of crazy. I, I know I'm a small tank, but I'm not that small of a tank, my man. Um, but like, yeah, he he was really getting into it, like, really, really trying his hardest. And then his teammate came in, and he just got me good. It has a very, very nice fire rate. I'm just gonna show you one more clip of me actually killing another light tank, of course. It's very actually easy with these APDS and it's great firepower. Not many actually have that good of a firepower on 20mm cannon. So, let's finish this video with some pros and cons. So, firstly, in pros, we got that it's very very speedy boy it's very fast boy honestly so yeah that is very very great for like flanking like you will actually do with this thing also another pro is it has a 20 millimeter apds which is i know i know it ain't that great like on a 25 millimeter but it's fine on 20 millimeter really if you are gonna be doing flanking on some uh, medium tanks and some light tanks really it's very nice another pro is its fire rate it has a very very nice fire rate also it has a very low profile so if you want to hide somewhere it's very easy to do so and we can sum up it to really just being like a bradley just being a small bradley so to finish this all up with some cons I will just say that one huge con is that it really isn't that beginner friendly. Like, it ain't beginner friendly at all. I mean, it sits at 8.0 and you should know all the stuff. But like, it's very easy to mess up in it. And if you're not careful, you're gonna be met with one huge tank on your way. And that's really about it. Thank y'all on watching this video and see ya in the next one. Bye bye.